Mister, please reconsider. You'll trigger a magic that is much too powerful for you. The Kwamis, just like most characters, have shown strength and determination in the series. Miraculous, Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. Today, we're shining a spotlight on their courage to stand up to Gabriel Agress, the mysterious and formidable Hawk Ma. These moments underscore the Kwamis' bravery and determination to protect the Miraculous, their welders, and ultimately Paris. Join us as we recount the top moments when these lovable creatures took a stand against evil. Welcome to Bug Paws TV, and let's get started. Its intelligence is not at all artificial. That robot turned against him last time. Oh no, this is terrible. He can't akumatize it again. Number one, Noru. Noru, more than any Kwame, has had to endure Gabriel's bad decisions and evil doings. But on certain occasions, he doesn't hesitate to tell Gabriel his master the truth. As seen in the two-part episode Origins, when initially summoned by Gabriel, Noru explains to Gabriel how the miraculous is meant to be used for good and not evil. I must have those miraculous. But nobody knows where these miraculous are. I found you, though, my little Nuru. In the miraculous tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir movie, Noru is knowledgeable and helpful, but not me. She was more serious about Gabriel using her powers for evil, warning him through a vision that he would lose everything, including his son. Give me the ultimate power so I can bring my wife back. In the episode special, Miraculous Shanghai, when Gabriel travels to Shanghai in search of the Prajadisi, Noru takes a stance regardless of the fact that Gabriel always shuts him up. He warns Gabriel of the consequences of seeking the Prajadis power that was hidden away for centuries. Noru knows that his master Gabriel has bad intentions, but he never loses his resolve when telling Gabriel the truth. In the episode Miracle Queen, after Gabriel repairs the Peacock Miraculous using Master Fu's tablet, which contains the trans translated version of the spellbook, Dusu appears happy, saying the worst is over. But Noru quickly corrects her, saying the worst isn't over yet, pointing at Gabriel. Noru does this in Gabriel's space, disregarding if Gabriel would reprimand him. Oh wow! Everything was so chaotic in my head! Like a nightmare where I'd fallen into very bad hands! Sorry, old friend! Number 2. Kalki Kalki, the Kwame of Migration, connected to the Horse Miraculous, is one that goes unnoticed by viewers. But in the episode Migration, after he explains to Gabriel how his power works, Gabriel doesn't hesitate to call him useless. This disrespect hurts Kalki's feelings. The Kwamis, including Kalki, were offended by this disrespect from Gabriel. Kalki stood up against Gabriel and told him he was mean for saying what he said. Uh, so you're utterly useless! Uh -huh won't be talked to like this, sir. Number three, the Kwamis. Though the Kwamis don't always mention Noru, they, on certain occasions, have tried to find his whereabouts. In the episode Sandboy, the Kwamis come together to try and communicate with Noru, with the intent of finding his whereabouts. But on getting to Noru, they find Hawk Moth instead. Hawk Moth then tries to find their location and threatens to get a hold of them. The Kwamis are brave enough to stand their ground against Hawk Moth, and they sever the link he intends to use to get them. Number 4. Tiki Tiki is one of the most powerful Kwamis, as her miraculous is related to creation. Hawk Moth has desperately tried to get a hold of her and Plague, and in the episode Deflagration, he gets a hold of them. In this episode, Tiki, the Kwame of creation, is put in a tight spot due to Hawk Moth's schemes. Tiki acts on her concerns and frustrations when Hawk Moth finally steals both Miraculous from their various Miraculous holders, Alia and Zoe, by using Venom on them. Even with Hawk Moth being her present owner, Tiki goes against him when she uses her Lucky Charm power to send the summoned object to Marinette. Tiki shows determination and strength in this episode when she takes a stance against Gabriel. Don't worry, Sugar Cube. We'll see each other again. You know that you and I are one. Do your lucky charm for Ladybug. Number 5. Plague. Plague, unlike most Kwame, is free-spirited and is willing to do anything against evil. He would even go as far as using his power without a holder within the blink of an eye if he thinks it's for the good of the universe. Tiki wasn't the only Kwame in the episode Deflagration to take a stance against Gabriel. In this episode, we see Tiki and Plague fight hard against Hawk Ma. Plague then comes up with a plan to save the universe as they know it. He tells Tiki to use her lucky charm 
and he also tells her that he intends to use his cataclysm on himself to prevent Hawkmoth from making his wish. Plaque destroys his miracular and stops Gabriel from rewriting the universe to his wishes. In the episode Ephemeral, Plaque, the Kwame of Destruction, is captured by Gabriel Agreste, who confronts him in an attempt to force Adrian to reveal Ladybug's identity. Plaque doesn't hesitate to stand up to Gabriel by calling up his cataclysm to protect his miracular from falling into Gabriel's hands. Enough, Kwame. I am your master now. Number six, the Kwamis. The Kwamis are known for telling the truth, but in the episode Destruction, you see the Kwamis using their truth in their favor. Hawk Mok asked the Kwamis to say the name of their guardian, Ladybug. The Kwamis explained to Hawk Mok, telling him that they can say the name of Miraculous holders who have renounced their jewel. However, even if the Miraculous is stolen as seen in his case, the holder whom the Miraculous was stolen from still counts as a holder as long as they never actually renounce the Miraculous. This action from the Kwamis leads Hawk Moth on a wild goose chase in search of Ladybug's identity. Previously before the events of Strike Back, Marinette and the Kwamis already put a plan in place that will lead Hawk Moth to the trap Ladybug has set for him in case they are ever captured by a villain and told to lead them to Ladybug. Marinette Dupen Cheng? Monarch! Are you sure? Yes, and now you have to ask her for the gift. What do you mean the gift? In Miracle Queen, Stomp, Roar, and the other Kwamis refuse to share their activation commands with Chloe after seeing her rude and selfish behavior. They knew that Chloe could have severely hurt herself and were aware of the Guardian's code. I don't just know her, I despise her. The Kwamis' unwavering support showcases their belief in their chosen heroes and emphasizes the significance of trust in the fight for evil. These moments in which they stood for the truth showcase the intricate dynamics between the Kwamis and Gabriel Agreste, revealing layers of complexity and emotion. Their unwavering dedication to their wielders while navigating the complexities of battling Hawk Moth adds depth and intrigue to the miraculous universe. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Kwame's determination, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. As always, share your thoughts in the comments below. He can't know about the miraculous, my secret identity, or you Kwame's. Come on, Tiki, let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah.